All right, this is second grade, module three, lesson eight. And in this lesson, we're going to be uh, kind of continuing the practice of studying the ones, tens, and hundreds and the place value. Only this time, we're going to do it in the context of money. And the idea I think of this is that maybe we're moving from the physical concept of popsicle sticks to a little bit of a more abstract concept, money. And eventually, down the road, students are going to be totally in the abstract with place value. So here, it's pretty straightforward. We're supposed to be finding the total value of the money. So I'm going to begin by counting up all the tens. And I can see all of these are the tens. All right, so let's count. And we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90. So there's our 90 dollars. Plus we have one dollar bill left over. So our total amount is 91. And again down here, we can begin by counting our hundreds. There's our hundreds. We can see our tens right here. And then I'll move into the green and say here's all of our ones. So if we were to put all that together, we have two hundreds, one ten, and let's see, seven ones. So two hundred, one ten, and seven ones. So our answer is 217. Parents and teachers, you may need to consider putting that into a place value chart. That might actually help. So the idea being, you have two hundreds, good. You have 110, good. You have seven ones, good. So we'll put that right there, and there's your 217. So that you might go back to a place value chart to help assist with that 217. So here, it's kind of the exact opposite. This time, we're given a value and right here, and we're supposed to fill in the dollar bills, the bills, with uh, values. So we're going to start with using up all the hundreds, and then once we've filled up all the hundreds, then we're going to go to the tens and the ones. So uh, in this case, uh, we have a hundred. We can't do another hundred, because that would give us two hundred, and we're only supposed to go up to 172. So now we're, we're going to go to the tens. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70. So now we can't do another one because that would be 180. So that means our result, our leftovers, is a 1 and a 1. And there is our 172. Now, uh, similar, let's do two, 226 right here. So let's fill up all the two, uh, hundreds that we can fill up. Well, there's 100, another 100, so that's 200. We can't do a, th a third one. That would be 300, and that's too much. So now we could do tens. So there's our 220, and then the remainder are ones. There's a one, 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 and one. Now, a little bit of a side note, teachers. I think it's a little misleading because they make it look like any amount can be solved by using only 10 bills. Like up here, you had 10 bills that equaled 172. Here, you had 10 bills that equals 107, uh, 226. That's a mi little misleading. Students might get this misunderstanding that you could always use 10 bills in order to get the answer. Just heads up on that. Now here, we're being asked to draw and solve the problem. So it says, Brandon, has, and I'm going to first read through the question, make sure we understand it. Uh, Brandon has seven $10 bills and eight, eight $1 bills. Joshua has three fewer $10 bills and four fewer $1 bills than Brandon. So what's the value of Joshua's money? Well, let's begin by drawing Brandon's money. It says he has seven ten dollar bills. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has seven ten dollar bills. 
and he has eight one dollar bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, teachers, notice what I'm doing here. I'm using, I'm creating a ten frame here. So I'm going five across, and I would have gone five across. And again, five across, five across. I'm doing that very, very intentionally. I'm not just drawing my bills uh, willy-nilly. I'm always trying to keep that 10 frame form. Um, and so anyway, these are ones. So I'm filling our eight $1 bills. So now that we're told that, let's see, Joshua has three fewer $10 bills. It says so right there. So I'm going to cross off three. One, two, three. And he has four fewer $1 bills. One, two, three, four. So the question is, what's the value of Joshua's money? Well, the value of Joshua's money is whatever is left. So we can see we have four tens. And we have four ones. So the value of Joshua, Joshua has $44. And that wraps up grade two, module three, lesson eight, where we're still doing that place value, only now we're doing it in the context of money.